What's going on everyone? Today I've got another super cool module from Jake's Custom Shop. This one is the Synchronizing Delay. This isn't just any old PT2399 based echo processor. No, this one has clock synchronization, CV time control, and even dry signal isolation. In order to create any kind of massive sound, especially in modular, you need some kind of delay or echo. Uh, this one is perfect. It's great for everything from ambient soundscapes to hardcore techno. To start, I'll go through the control knobs. Feedback adjusts the number of delays from 0 to 6. Time increases or decreases the delay length. Mix varies the mixing of the original signal into the delay signal. And the wet-dry toggle switch enables and disables the mixing of the original signal into the delayed. The input and output jacks are on the bottom of the module. The delays can be sunk to an external clock and the delay time can also be controlled with a CV signal from another module. Of course, you have audio in and audio out. To demo the delay, I have a simple kick drum hooked into it. So there's our clean signal, and if I increase the mix, you can hear the delay come in. I can speed up the delays. Slow it down. I can increase the number of delays or decrease it. I can also remove the original signal from the output. So now the notes are kind of ghosting. So I'll go ahead and connect the clock input of the synchronizing delay to the same clock that we're using to run the kick drum. So now the module is syncing the delays to the speed of the kick drum clock. So if I speed up the LFO controlling the kick drum, the delays also speed up. Alternatively, if I connect the time control voltage to another LFO, one cool thing about this module is that it will go into distortion if you take the knobs all the way to the extremes.
So there you have it, the synchronizing delay URAC module by Jake's Custom Shop. <laughs>